Um, just sort of expanding on that a bit, I mean, it sounds as if this would just be uh, the, the seed ingredients to create a much more aggressive, proactive marketing campaign uh, that would lead to advertising, belonging to New England websites, and that kind of thing. I think it would be helpful to all of us if you had some sort of dollar figures and kind of bang for the buck um, equation so that we could really see what you think it would generate. Sure. Yeah, no, I think that's a very, very good suggestion. Obviously, we wanted to get the idea forward, uh, uh, put, put it out there, and see what kind of response. And I have to say, the response has been very heartening from... I think there's an extraordinary beer, uh, Chris, what, what do you think the uh, artisan, artisan beer culture? This, this is an amazingly uh, growing area. I know in my own town and area, there's been four or five different places that have had beer dinners, uh, you know, it's, a lot of good commerce for local restaurants that are in, oftentimes held in the off season when you have sort of the doldrums in the early winter or early spring. Um, you know, there's a multiplier effect that comes out of just a, a higher awareness. And, and this group is very active on the web. There's, a, there's as I say, the, uh, the uh, Ale Street News is one outlet where you can see it. I, I just happened to get a lot of email recently after we proposed this bill from all over the state where people are very excited about it. So. I think the multiplier is there really to, to benefit us, and, and we'll try to get a better handle on, on what the cost 